A union activist, Mwape Msonda, has advised the Copper Belt Energy Corporation, CEC, to adjust the power contracts. It's signed with the mines as the power tariffs have drastically changed since the contracts were signed in the year 1997. Mr. Musonda says he is aware of the benefits of the bulk supply agreement of the mines, which are the major contributors to the country's economy. In April 2020, relations between the Copper Belt Energy Corporation, CEC, and Zesco soured. We have more in this report. Barely a month ago, the Copper Belt Energy Corporation, CEC, confirmed the death of the bulk supply agreement, BSA, with Zesco Limited. CEC confirmed the end of the long-term power purchase agreement following Zesco's failure to meet the proposed mutual demands in an effort to put in place an interim agreement. The two had been in agreement since November 21, 1997, with the long-term agreement ending on 31 March 2020. The parties were unable to agree to a number of terms by the last day of the contract. The Copper Belt Energy Corporation's relation with Zesco soured as CEC felt that the terms that government was demanding, if accepted, would be injurious to its operations. Critiquing the impasse, a local based unionist and a youth activist, Mwape Msonda, says the two need to accept that the tariff for the power that they are consuming has changed, charging that the Copper Belt Corporation should renegotiate the terms with the mining companies they are currently supplying power to. They need to renegotiate the terms uh, with the mining companies that they are currently supplying power to. I mean, we are aware that CEC is also exporting power to uh, Congo, DRC, and also with all the mines that are on the copper belt. So probably that's why they are skeptical in terms of uh, accepting the new uh, tariffs that ZESCO is offering them. So considering that, maybe you, our advice would be that they sit down with these companies, and also maybe with ZESCO as well, they need to sit down and try to reason with these companies that where CEC is currently supplying uh, uh, power so that as they uh, uh, sit down, they, they renegotiate the terms. I mean, mining companies are the largest consumer of power in this country. He says it is commendable that CEC has impacted the economy positively, urging Zesco to reason with companies that are benefiting from the corporation. Further appealing to Zesco to consider the implications likely to occur post the bulk supply agreement. Out of it, so they should be able to pay the cost reflective prices. If us as citizens were able to pay the cost reflective prices, then it means that also the mining companies need to do the same. So CEC should sit down with the companies that they are currently supplying to and inform them that things have changed. The time we signed these contracts, we were giving you at this price, but uh, where we are getting uh, these. Uh, the, the, the commodity, which is electricity, uh, things have changed, so we need to, to renegotiate. It's a big uh, business decision that you have to make, but which is necessary. However, CEC's position in the Zambian energy sector remains huge as it owns and operates powered infrastructure and assets worth more than 500 million US dollars for the economic benefits of the country. Reporting for Kamna Television in Lusaka, Zambia, Namwe.